Hi, I'm Jeff. I'm one of the maintainers of the GTG project. If you're watching this, you're probably interested in improving your personal productivity, reducing stress, and organizing all facets of your life using a beautiful application for your computer running Linux. In this video, I will demonstrate GTG, also known as Getting Things Grown, a personal productivity application I've been using for over 10 years to successfully apply the getting things done methodology to my daily life. Now, note that this application can be used for any sort of workflow. Uh, so you are not tied to a particular methodology. It's just nice to know that it can handle extremely simple use cases just as well as advanced workflows like GTD. Now, before I demonstrate the Getting Things GNOME application, let's take a minute to discover why you would want to use the specific application in the first place. Why would you use GTG when there are hundreds of commercial to-do apps out there? Well, the main reason is control and longevity. Proprietary commercial software applications, as well as software as a service, cloud applications, lock you into restrictive licensing, no guarantee of longevity, and no guarantee of privacy. Depending on proprietary software, for something as important and long-lived as a personal productivity system, creates very important concerns, leading to some interesting questions, such as, well, can you trust that cloud service? Are you sure that this proprietary app isn't profiling what you're doing with your operating system or uploading your data if it sees certain keywords? Can you trust that the licensing fee won't increase? Do you know for sure that the whole product won't be a victim of the parent company being acquired by another or filing for bankruptcy? What guarantees that the app will keep functioning throughout the years as you upgrade your operating systems and that it will work on more than one or two authorized computers? That's a very uh, significant question. And all those questions are relevant when you are depending on proprietary software. And when you are depending on an online or cloud service, you're always at the mercy of that service eventually shutting down or being acquired or merged or what have you. And there are various examples of that happening. I've got at least five of them that I could easily find and I'll leave them in the description down below if you want. GTG, on the other hand, is entirely free and open source. It is an established community-driven project, which means that this application is designed and developed in the public interest. It will always respect your personal digital rights. It has no mystery code, no backdoors. It is an application that you can truly own. And since it is a native desktop application, it works offline. So you can use it in a retreat in the middle of the woods or while you are traveling on a bus or when you are sitting on the deck of a yacht in the middle of the Caribbean while you are sipping some margarita. Now, let me show you what it's like to handle all sorts of aspects of your work and personal life using GDG. So let's take a look at what I have on my screen here. Let me start GTG. First, take note that I have zoomed in to twice the size so that you can read everything shown on screen. GTG is designed for adaptability to your needs and workflow. As you can see here, it can be used for just a very simple to-do list with a minimalistic user interface. And this is what 99% of to-do apps do. But GTG doesn't stop there. It can also be used in a much, much more advanced way compared to most applications out there. When you start using its more advanced features, that's when you realize how incredibly good its design is from a usability and efficiency perspective. For example, I can here enable the sidebar. In that case, you will suddenly see the tags 
and the saved searches. And as you can see, the tags can be hierarchical. For example, I had previously dragged and dropped the stuff to buy, stuff to pay, stuff to sell, and taxes tag onto the money tag. So that when I click on the money tag, I see all the tasks that are tagged with the money tag or any of its children. As you can see as well, tags can have a color or an icon associated with them. Specific tags can be also configured to hide their tasks from the actionable view. In the case at hand, no tasks from the front tag are shown in the actionable view. This is because I have set the fun tag to hide its tasks from the actionable view. I guess I just don't like having fun. Now let's take a look at how GTG handles individual tasks. I could easily create a task by using the create a new task button on the upper left hand corner or by using the quick add entry at the bottom here using its advanced syntax. But since this is pretty straightforward, I will cover some more advanced topics instead. GTG imposes no limitations, and as such, one of the core features it has is that it handles task dependencies very, very well. Each task can serve as a simple actionable task or as a complex project. Tasks can have an infinite amount of subtasks, and those subtasks can have multiple subtasks of their own, and so on. Any subtask is considered a blocker for the current parent task. Let's open my actionable task about pitching GTG as the Uber of GTD for venture capitalists. As you can see, GTG has a freeform task editor, which lets you add detailed notes to your tasks or tags directly inside a task. Here I have some very strategic contextual information. Let me add some more context. GTG is a smart application. It aims to make you more efficient. As such, it recognizes natural language when you type it. So let's say I want to add a tag GTG. I can simply go here or anywhere and just type uh, at GTG. Notice how the GTG tag task count has already been updated. I can also use the tag insertion button and that way I also get a tag filtering feature. So I can just type open and complete with the open source tag. Let's remove that. When you want to set a start date or a due date, you can of course use the calendar picker or you can just write out the date that you want in your language and GTG will figure it out as best as it can. Here I will type Monday. You could also set it to different type of dates such as the 31st of the month. So when you reopen, as you can see, it's now set to July 31st. GTG recognizes time formats like tomorrow, Friday, vendredi if you speak French, a date number like 13 if you don't believe in bad luck, or a standard ISO 8601, and so on. Now, if I somehow forgot why I would consider asking VCs for millions of dollars for an open source desktop application that I'm giving away for free, I can click the open parent button to jump to the parent task. You can now see that this is all part of my plan to buy an apartment in San Francisco. And then I can become even more rich by renting it out at a hefty price to proprietary software developers. I could add some more tasks here simply by uh, starting a new line with a hyphen and hitting enter after typing the subtask title or by hitting enter after the end of an existing subtask in an existing list like this. Now here you can see my other plan for getting rich quick. Invent something related to cryptocurrencies. Basically a new Bitcoin, right? Well, on second thought, I think this plan is crap and let's just dismiss this task. That way I can abandon this foolish endeavor. Another thing worth mentioning is that you can add or remove multiple tags from selected tasks simply by using the corresponding right click menu or hitting the control T keyboard shortcut and then you can use the UI hints to guide you. This is extremely efficient because it happens in a single operation. You can add and remove tags all in one go. Now you might be wondering what is the deal with the 
open, actionable, and closed buttons. The open tasks view mode lists all your tasks that have not been dismissed or marked as done. The closed tasks view shows all the tasks that have been dismissed or marked as done, such as figuring out how to invent a cryptocurrency. And the actionable tasks view is a mode that only show the tasks that are actionable. That allows you to focus on what you can act on right now. So what is an actionable task, you might say? Well, an actionable task is quite simply a task that does not have a start date set into the future and does not have subtasks blocking it. It must not be tagged with a tag that excludes it from the actionable view. Another thing I love about GTG is what I call the procrastination button. Using this button on the toolbar, you can quickly defer tasks to tomorrow or to common upcoming days or to a custom date. This is useful if, for example, you want to select multiple tasks and defer them to the next work week when businesses generally open. So I could decide to defer them to the next Monday, for example. And then they just disappear from my view in the actionable view. Or you can use that to say anything that's related to things I want to do on the weekend, defer them to, let's say, Friday or Saturday. That's it pretty much for the overview. I hope you liked it. There is, of course, more to discover and it is best for you to try it out yourself. If there is anything that you're wondering about, there is also access to the built-in user manual for additional tips and for covering pretty much every topic that would take too long to cover in a video. So, if you haven't done so already, I would suggest that you visit the project's homepage, which I will leave a link to in the description down below. If you liked this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friend or colleagues, and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.